Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a tool without a handle. So far in all our lessons on tools, we have learned that a tool needs to have a handle because that's where the player is going to hold the tool. But in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make a tool without a handle. It does not require a handle. Let's get right to it. We're going to go to our workspace. We're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to add a tool. Let's rename our tool to shrinking potion. So we're going to be making a shrinking potion. Next, let's go to our toolbox and we're going to search for an image of a potion bottle. I'll just take this image right here, right click copy asset ID coming back to my shrinking potion I'm gonna go to the texture ID click on that and I'm gonna paste in the asset ID that I've copied I'm also gonna go to my tooltip and I'm gonna put in shrinking potion Now, if you want more information on what we're doing so far, you can refer to our prior lesson to learn more about tool tips and how to set the icon of the tools inside your hot bar. Let me now close my toolbox and I'm gonna move my shrinking potion tool into the starter pack. You can see inside my starter pack, I have a bunch of different tools. Let's now play and take a look. So here you can see my shrinking potion here and if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. So let's go back to studio and we're going to script the shrinking potion. We are now back inside studio. So first let's select our tool. We're going to look for the shrinking potion and let's go to the properties of our tool. We want to look for a property called can be dropped. We want to uncheck that. So we do not want the player to drop this tool. And also we're going to uncheck the requires handle of this tool. So this tool does not require a handle. You can see our tool has no handle inside of it. As opposed to other tools, they all have a handle. This one has no handle. And now we're going to go to our shrinking potion. We're going to add a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring the potion. And then I'm declaring a bunch of different flags. So I have an activated flag, a deactivated flag, and a scale flag. The scale is just the current state of the character. So when we first enter the game, the player equipped the potion and then clicks to activate the potion. It's going to pour it's, it's going to fire this event, the activate event, and this event is going to connect to this function, the act unactivated function. So this function is going to check the flag, the scale flag. So when we first start it out, it's going to be deactivated. So the first time you activate the potion, it's going to go into here. But then if you click again to activate it again, you're going to deactivate the potion. So it's going to go into here. So when it goes into this portion over here, it's going to change the size of the character. Potion.parent is the character, and it's going to change the size of the character to activate it, which is 0.5. It's going to shrink the character to half the size. Now, if you click again, it's going to go into this part over here, where it's going to return the size of the character back to normal, back to 1, which is the regular size. Okay, let's play and take a look. So now I'm gonna equip the potion and nothing is happening yet. Let me run over here so you can compare. So now they're both the same size. I'm gonna activate my potion here and look at that. I'm down to half the size of my regular size. If I click again, I'm back up to the regular size. Click again, half the size, click again, regular size.
everyone that's how you make a tool that does not require a handle in roblox thank you for watching we will see you in our next tutorial take care